Cardiovascular disease is one of the areas where innovation and technology is particularly important. Within the area of cardiovascular sciences, both discovery, cardiovascular imaging, and the use of innovative technologies to treat patients really requires the marriage between clinicians and biomedical engineers. Biomedical engineering is involved in many things that you may see in your environment, at home, or in the clinic. So if you go get a blood sample, the blood processing, biomedical engineering is involved in a lot of the automation and equipment and development of blood tests. If you go to get a scan, CT scan, ultrasound, MRI, biomedical engineers were involved in developing those technologies and being able to analyze effectively what those pictures show you. In 1982, when I started, it was fairly primitive technology. So technologies really had a huge impact on patient care. And then there's the, all of the uh, bioengineering that has led to devices, pacemakers, artificial hearts. So there's this whole interface between mechanical, electrical, and biomedical engineering that leads to real innovation. Biomedical engineers at the Lib and Cardiovascular Institute of Alberta are currently working on many aspects, from the electricity of the heart, to the mechanics of the vessels, to the molecular and cellular interactions that are going on with the mechanical and electrical forces in the body. So the reason it's really important to work with the bioengineers is they bring different tools, expertise, and background to my kind of interest. And I bring to them access to patients and the clinical problems. So engineers are kind of people who are trying to find uh, solutions to problems. I have all kinds of problems and I need to develop new tools that are diagnostic and therapeutic. And so that means a close interface, do you mean, with the engineers to try and achieve that kind of goal. So I'm really looking forward to the future of biomedical engineering. In the past, we focused on looking at the new instruments, new machines, new devices to put inside the body. As we move towards the future, we need to have more of an understanding of what's going on with the patients. And to get that, we have to look way down into the genes at what's in your cells and your tissues. There's an abundance of information there, so it takes a lot of data, a lot of software engineering, computer modeling, to be able to take all that information and give you evaluation of your state of health at that point. In electrophysiologic studies, uh, we have these really elegant mapping tools that allow us to find out what is making the problem. Another example of the synergism between engineers and uh, electrophysiology is the development of MRI tools that allow us to understand the structure of the heart. Working with the Lib and Cardiovascular Institute of Alberta has been fantastic. The access to the physicians, the collaborative nature of the teams, it's really opened up a whole range of possibilities. We're working together to actually improve patient lives. And so that means using the appropriate innovative techniques that are out there as well as creating our own. There's so many possible things that we can do as we're looking for solutions. We have all this information, we're working with the physicians, we see these great challenges that are out there. So we need to build prototypes, we need to understand more fully the diseases, and we need to work together with the physicians to implement these solutions. Research is kind of a work in progress. We make advances, but then the advances generally just lead to another question, how to refine that advancement how to make it really work for individual patients. Philanthropy is absolutely essential. One cannot have excellence in healthcare without having a very strong research foundation. We're incredibly proud of the great work that we do, the scientists, the clinicians, the educators that we have, but we certainly cannot do it without the support of the community. It's that philanthropic support that allows us to be excellent and really to achieve everything that we have over the last 12 to 15 years and moving forward.